There's been a lot of volatility in currency markets lately. Many Australian investors won't necessarily be aware that their global investments are impacted by the value of the Australian dollar. It can impact your returns, even if you're not holding currency directly. Let me explain. So I'm an Australian investor, and when I buy a stock listed in Australia, I'm buying a company that's value is designated in Australian dollars. But it's a bit more complex when I'm buying a stock listed overseas. Let's say I buy a share of Apple. Because Apple is listed in US dollars, I have to buy the stock in US dollars. Somewhere along the line, I take my Australian dollars and I transfer them to US dollars in order to buy the stock. The key is that when I buy Apple shares, I actually get exposure to two assets. Number one is the Apple stock, and number two is the US dollar, which I'm exposed to by holding a US listed stock. This isn't an issue for a lot of investors, particularly when the US dollar is going up in value. This means that when selling the stock, it will be worth more in Australian dollars. But if the value of the US dollar goes down, the net returns from my Apple shares will be lower than the pure return of the Apple stock. This is a problem for investors in market environments where the Australian dollar performs strongly. As a solution, investors can undertake the process of currency hedging, which is to seek to remove the risk of currency movements on the value of the international shareholders. By selling the currency that I have exposure to, in this case the US dollar, the impact of currency fluctuations can be minimised. Many ETFs are internally currency hedged, aiming to give investors exposure to Apple stock without the impact of currency fluctuations. It's that simple.